Hi Yash, congratulations for your CET score of 99.986. Such a wonderful score and we are so proud of you. Would like to know your journey after standard 10th till this CET score. It was a very amazing journey. During these two years, I faced various challenges and problems. But with the help of teachers and Vidya Lankar, I was able to overcome all these challenges and was able to produce such an amazing results. Great. Can you share with us how did you uh, study during standard 11th and 12th? I mean, how many hours you had studied? Uh, I at least study six, six to eight hours a day. Every day means. Even uh, in 11th and in 12th? Yes, in 12th and even both. Great. And uh, can you give us some subject wise tips? How did you study your physics, chemistry, and maths? Yes, in chemistry, it is very much important for us to understand the mechanism behind all the organic reactions and to remember them. In physics, we must all, always memorize all the formulas that are present and try to use solve more and more questions so that we can apply the concept clearly. And in maths, practice is must. You had taken a number of tests that we conducted at Vidya Lankar. So, how did it help you? It was very helpful because by giving the test, I was able to understand my strong and weak points. Also, many questions which were present in the test also came in the paper. So, it was like very useful. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, when you had taken test, we uh, used to give you analysis. I mean, you used to give the analysis. So. Did you analyze and uh, improve your score for every subsequent yes, test? Yes, I have. I have always worked. I have always worked on huh. my weaknesses by using this. For example, in my first phase, I was very weak at polymer chemistry, but hmm. then I was. I learned and understand all the reaction, and then in the next test, I improved them. That's. You scored so well even in standard twelve. So, how did you manage your standard 12 studies and your CET? Or is it that what you studied in standard 12th helped you for CET? Yes, it definitely helped me in CET exams. Because of when we have to study for boards, we have to clearly understand all the concepts and was able to write my answers. So, I just had to learn the formulas for CET and the extra theory can be neglected for the boards. For CET? For CET. Now for CET, especially when a lot of practice is required, so what did you use for a practice uh, number of questions? I solved the questions which were given behind the module hmm. of each and every chapter, chapter wise and also the PYQs which were given because it was very helpful to solve this PYQs as it, as it, they come as it is in the question. So the CET score booster uh, books which we had given. Yes. So you had solved all those questions? I solved the whole CET score booster two times. Oh, that's great. Very good. Uh, what message you would like to give to CET aspirant? I mean, to come to this score, uh, what students need to do you feel? Self-study is the most important thing we must do. Hmm. We must start self-studying from 11th itself. We must not delay our study plans. And also, we must practice PYQs because nowadays many questions are repeating from the previous year questions. And what about speed? Uh, for CET, many students find it difficult to complete uh, you know, physics, chemistry and uh, in that specific 90 minutes, even maths in 90 minutes. So. How did you manage time for the exam? For that I have practiced only because when we give test we all understand but where we are lacking. Hmm. Means which question we have to skip, which question we must attend and like that. But uh, you could able to solve all the questions properly and could able to manage time for yes. the final examination. Yes, That's really great and uh, all the best for your future and keep it up Yash. Thank you.